Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited today. Oh! <laughs> All right, so that was a little interruption. That was Kofi's call, because he's actually home today. I'm really excited because I'm having a day out. Kofi is doing me a solid and staying home and working from home this morning so that I could have a little freedom of movement. So I don't know if there are other uh, moms out there who are also managing the distance learning. I found that it's quite complicated to just get out and do anything for yourself um, during this time. I'm pretty much bound to the house from nine o'clock until about two o'clock on a daily basis. And then since I coach the kids' soccer teams, I really just roll straight into like French and then soccer with them. So I'm not really finding the time or the space to just breathe a little bit. And because I'm introverted, I know that this is really critical. So I'm just excited because I got myself together today and I am just gonna go hang out, maybe do some window shopping have some tea and Kofi's gonna hold it down. He's back there, holding it down. <laughs> All right. All right, so I just had Kofi do a little micro rapid fast photo shoot for me and I'm off. Where to? I don't even know. Yes, I will be here holding down the fort. Oh my Holding God. it. The drama. <laughs> the drama. Oh my God. The drama. Thanks, though. Bye. I am taking the S class today. Alright guys, so I'm off. As I mentioned, I'm having a mom's day out today. I'm really excited. Um, I just told Kofi that I have been just feeling really pinned down in the house with the kids between the distance learning and the homeschooling that I'm doing. And I just needed to really build in some time for myself. And you know what? Um, it sounds really great, but I will say that it has taken me literally years to be able to like determine that I need this time for myself and articulate it uh, to Kofi. And, you know, shout out to him because he has also grown and evolved. And I think like we found such a great rhythm of supporting each other. He said, you know what, I'm gonna try uh, this Tuesday and ongoing on Tuesdays so as far as my uh, schedule can accommodate it to just stay home and uh, try to work from home so that you can have a morning out because just you know it's the little things you guys just being able to kind of go out pick up a few things for myself like I said a little window shopping or just reading or just you know spending some time in solitude at a cafe that that quiet time is really really important for introverts like myself so I am so excited about this um, just ready to go. So I am about to catch up with my sister who's visiting with my parents and my dad and all that jazz right now on the phone because that's another thing. I'm also going to end up calling my best friend. I think I'm going to stop by Press Juicery because I'm looking into doing a juice cleanse. I haven't done one in a while. I'm going to swing by Zara because there are a pair of pants there that I really wanted to pick up. And I also am looking for uh, a new body wash. So those are kind of the things that I'm looking for. And we'll see what I have time to execute on today. But all right, let's go. And I just wanted to add that I decided to drive the S class today. I really love our Explorer. Um, I haven't been driving my R class lately, but it's just kind of a nice change because I'm driving that all the time with the kids. I just wanted to have the entire day feel differently. So. I took the car, usually Kobe takes his car to work, so I was like, oh, you know what, I'm going to take the S-Class. It's much more uh, elegant and together than our rugged and rough uh, Explorer, but that one's great for soccer practice and everything with the kids, so feeling fancy today, guys. Oh my god, you guys, I'm running late because I couldn't find the car. This is such a huge parking garage and I had no idea where I had parked. So now I need to hurry up and get back home. <laughs> okay, so I am officially, oops, let me turn this music down. 
I am officially out of there. I made it out. I'm really excited because I found a coat that I was looking for at Zara. That's why I wanted to go there for a coat and for a particular pair of pants. I actually didn't find the pants that I was looking for. I found other pants. Like I feel kind of strange because I broke my nail yesterday, um, but this evening I'm gonna get my nail fixed, my little Halloween nails that I did. Um, but yeah, so I found a loungewear outfit and I found a coat, a nice camel colored coat that I've been wanting for fall. I actually don't have a nice camel colored coat. I've got like a, a rain jacket kind of windbreaker style uh, trench. I've got like a burgundy colored leather trench, but I just wanted just a nice camel color that's neutral that can go with a lot of things. So I'm super excited because I found it. Um, and then I got a one day juice cleanse from Press Juicery and I haven't done a one day juice cleanse in kind of a while and I actually picked the easy one. I say easy because it's, it's really, it's got like two almond milk drinks, like two nut drinks. So it kind of still has a lot of calories. You're not going to struggle it out. But I just thought it'd be a good way for me to kind of purge and reset my system. And now I'm on my way back and trying to make it back in time so that I don't spike Kofi so he'll actually give me this time again next week. All right, so I'm pulling in and Kofi is getting ready to go. I made it, I was four minutes late, but that's not that bad given the fact that I couldn't find the car for 15 minutes. So I am just going to sort myself out, um, get the kids some lunch. I'm going to do a French lesson with them and uh, Laya has Mathnasium, and she also has youth group tonight, Halloween dress up day at youth group at church. And I will go and get my nail done and that's gonna be my whole day. So little quick fun turnaround. Okay, so I made it back and we're doing Taking off. off. But first of all, comes back with bags, okay? Shopping, shopping. Listen, this is not what this is about. I said, if she comes back with bags next time, we're canceling this, we're canceling it. Don't try to look at me with those little almond shaped eyes. Don't even try it, don't even try it. You guys are my witness. <laughs> if she comes back with bags again, <laughs> get, don't try to kiss me on camera. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, have a good day, see Bye. you later. All right, got lunch going for my little. And then I've just decided to go ahead with my press juice re-cleanse since I picked up the juices today. This is what I'm having. I'm already on to number two. She's working on an essay on homelessness. So I'm gonna just take an edit for her. Right, so for the most part, you did a great job. You could see all these check marks. You were including all this good information. Um, however, there's a little bit of a challenge because the body paragraphs are like two sentences. And you know, you already know. You already know. And I didn't even realize that there was a conclusion, this little sentence at the end. I didn't realize that that was intended to be a concluding paragraph right here. So I'm just here writing no conclusion. And then I'm just gonna put it seriously. Yeah, so let's sit down and let's talk this through. Um, I want you to do a little bit of a reorg of this great information that you have here. And then we're going to actually have to start filling in the little uh, skeleton, the skeleton, the little bones here. I know it's Halloween, but I don't know what's up with these little, this little skeleton essay. So let's have a seat and do this. A few little notes. There's more notes than the whole essay. There's more notes than essay. <laughs> You're going to be great. So, all right, so. I am going to be a headless horseman for Halloween and Lincoln has hooked me up with a great mask. You wanna to talk to us about it? What have we got going so, on So, I made an example of what I was gonna do and it turned out pretty good. Okay, but that one was a little small, right? Mm-hmm. So then I did this one. I got, I did the lines from this one but a little bit less and lighter. Okay. Then I got the teeth because I originally had two of these, but it took, looked too much like a vampire. So I put three square teeth and one triangle tooth. And then I put these eyes, like they're mad and put eyebrows. Yeah, I like that because Headless Horseman, it's gotta be a little aggressive. I gotta show you the outfit. Thank you, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, bye. <laughs> 
This is me trying to work. I'm really excited because it looks like the article that I submitted is finally live on Red Tricycle. Here we go on redtricycle.com. So the evening continues over here. I definitely enjoyed my little time away, my little break. I think it's really important because you feel more energized and more patient when you get that little opportunity to take some time to yourself. Um, we are just wrapping things up around here, but it's been a great day. And I just want to say thanks for watching.